How you doing there, YouTube? Today I'm here to talk about my uh, LED light bulbs that I purchased to replace my halogen and my track lighting. They are MR16 lights. Uh, supposed to be 3000K LED. I bought from a, a vendor on uh, Amazon. And uh, we're here to review those and I'm going to try these out. I'll do the unboxing and uh, show you the install and the track lighting. And the, and the ballast for the track lighting, and then uh, I'm going to show you how they look up in my track lighting. Well, here's the package, and they come in. I ordered a, a 10 pack. Here's the other one. Just going to review this. Take a look at these. I got these for $32.99 on Amazon.com. Okay, so here's the vendor that I purchased these from. It's called the Be Bright Global. They were $32.99. It was a 10 pack. I actually got the warm white, which is the one in the center. Um, I've installed these and uh, I've actually determined that they're supposed to be 3000K, but it appears to be their 4500 to 5000K, which they seem to be a little off with their color and chart. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these or not, but I'm going to unbox them, and I'm going to install them, and I'm going to try them out. Okay, so here's the unboxing. I'm going to unbox these uh, LEDs. This is what they look like. Oh, this one appears to be empty. So here's one of the new ones. Let's open this up, and I can show you guys how it looks. Okay, so they come packaged pretty nicely. Got this plastic cover. I believe uh, these uh, retainer rings here that they have on there are to be removed so you can use them in the other style canister lights. They unscrew. You can pop them off so they fit in the other type of can. The housing appears to be aluminum with a plastic uh, connector here. This unscrews as well, but I want to leave that attached because I believe there's probably electrodes in there. I'm going to install this in the old style halogen ballast. I'm going to remove the old bulb in a second and I'm going to walk you through that. But we're going to leave this ring on because it's going to help work with the old retainer ring that's on the old halogen bulb. Not too bad. Seems to be rugged. Okay, so here's the old the old ballast here, the old style. It's got the halogen bulb still inside. I'm gonna have to uninstall it. I'm gonna, reverse. I'm gonna have to remove the old bulb from the ballast. You take these two clips here, you pinch them together. Remove the retaining ring. Oh, I just shot off. You gotta watch out for these, it doesn't go flying across the room. There is a glass lens in there that has to come out as well. You might have to wiggle this wire around and push the bulb out to get it to come out. There we go. Here's the lens that you remove. We're not gonna reuse this in the old one because it has a different thickness. The whole bulb is a little bit larger than the old halogen. You're going to take this wire and you're going to push it through and then you're going to pull it out and you're going to want to grab a hold of the porcelain clip and the plug and wiggle the bulb. It should pop out just like that for you. There's the old one. You can see the size on that bulb compared to the new one. Quite a big difference. Put those together. A little bit difference in height, probably about a half inch. So we're going to insert it here. Pop that in. Discard the old bulb. Push this back through. Pull the cable in. 
want to make sure this pops in there. My canister is a little bent because I've had it in storage, so it might not sit in there perfect. I'm going to take the old clip, insert it. Kind of need two hands on this. There goes one, two. Now it's engaged. I know this is uh, white, but they didn't have any other colors, so I'm going to go with this for now. I have black and white accents in my house, and you won't even notice this with the light when it's on. Please note the two uh, clips here. These are the contacts for the power in the ground. You want to make sure these are engaged the right way when you put them back in the track. So these are the lights installed in the ballast and mounted into the track lighting. I'm not sure if you can hear that sound, but they emit a little bit of a humming noise from the lights. They're not quite the color spectrum that they advertise. These are more like a 4500 to 5000 K, where I was looking for a 3, or close to 2700. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these or not. They are nice. I did have a flickering issue with four out of the ten pack I had. So I'm going to swap these out. I'm thinking there might be a uh, probably a break-in period for these. And if that's the case, uh, I'm going to have to swap out four of these and put the other flicker ones in. See if I can get it to burn off. So, like I said, I had four out of ten that were flickering. As you can see, it creates a little bit of. As you can see, it creates some ambient lighting in the room. Everything seems pretty bright. We got six uh, ballasts up there. Kind of nice, but I was looking for the other more yellower of a light, and this is more of a of a cooler light. So we'll give this a shot for a little while. You know, I got a I got a 30 day window to return these if I don't like them. So I'm gonna try plugging the other ones in and see if I can burn them out. Maybe break them in, see if they can get them to stop flickering. If they keep flickering, I'm just going to return them. But if uh, I end up returning them, I'll come back and I'll create another video, show you guys the flickering and the reason why I returned them. Alright. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. As you can see, in the package, I have uh, three that are labeled blinks. <laughs> Those are three of the four that have been blinking consistently. So I'm going to have to try those out back in the package and take them out and plug them in and see if I can break them in.